My personal story is a story of a young Crimean Tatar woman, a journalist who left Crimea after it was illegally occupied by Russia in 2014 and who started fighting for the fellow Crimean Tatars who have been suffering and oppressed for the past three years. The story of my compatriots, the Ukrainians, is the story of developing a new identity based on democratic values and practices. In both of these stories, there is a huge change. Ukraine, the country that fights for the return of occupied Crimea and Russia backed war in Donbas. Ukraine that wants to get rid of the Soviet heritage. And finally, Ukraine that performs huge social and political transformation towards democracy in Europe. And in this regard, by marking the 10th anniversary of the United Nations declarations on the rights of the indigenous peoples, I am privileged to speak about the contribution of Ukraine into a common goal, safeguarding of the rights of indigenous peoples, development and future. In March 2014, Ukraine joined the declaration recognized Crimean Tatars as indigenous people with the right to self-determination and all other rights stated at the declaration. By adopting laws and resolutions providing representation for Crimean Tatars in the government, like myself, Ukraine establishes guarantees for preservation and development of ethnic, cultural, linguistic, and religious identity of the Crimean Tatar people as an indigenous peoples. Among them are the law of Ukraine on restoration of rights of persons deported on ethnic grounds, the resolution that recognized the most tragic page in the history of Crimean Tatars, the deportation that was committed by Stalin in 1944 as genocide and other resolutions. Ukraine, for the first time in its history, allocated state assistance to the private Crimean Tatar TV channel ATR that was forced to abandon Crimea after occupation. Self-governing body of Crimean Tatars, Najlis, is defined as a key stakeholder in a strategy of information reintegration of Crimea. The Ministry of Information Policy of Ukraine is implementing the strategy on public diplomacy of Crimean Tatar people and working to integrate this document of the whole government. Two weeks ago, the leaders of Medjis registered the draft floor on the status of Crimean Tatar people to be voted by the Ukrainian parliament. This document actually aims at uh, defining the legal status of Crimean Tatar people as indigenous people of Ukraine and the status of their representative institutions, Kurutai, that is the national parliament, and Medjis. This is a very different path from the one taken by Russia that in grave violation of the United Nations declarations, in particular its articles 5, 18, 19, has banned the Medjis in occupied Crimea and declared it an extremist organization. Just last week, the United Nations International Court of Justice ordered Russia to refrain from maintaining or imposing limitations on the ability of Crimean Tatar's community to conserve its representative institutions, including the Majlis. Ukraine expects Russia to fully comply with this provisional measure by the ICJ. But unfortunately, we have already heard the statements of the occupying authorities to neglect this decision of ICJ. Concluding my speech, I would like to emphasize that even myself, as both as an indigenous Crimean Tatar woman and high-ranking Ukrainian official of the Ukrainian government, am a symbol of my country's transformation. And this was never possible before. We never had a deputy minister in the Ukrainian government. Let me congratulate all of the participants with the anniversary of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and express the hope that together with Ukraine, more and more countries will be ready to reconsider their attitudes and policies towards their indigenous peoples. Thank you.